Mary Mack, Great Big C, fantastic song. I'm going to play along with the song, and then I'll give you some tips at the end. All right? Have a great day. Hope you get something out of it. She's a girl I'm gonna try Lots of other fellas try to get her on her back I'm thinking that I'll have to get a birdie Mary Mac's mother's making Mary Mac marry me Like your mother's making me marry Mary Mac Well I'm gonna marry Mary for the Mary's taking care of me Well I'll be feeling merry when I marry Mary Mac How you little yap little lap little dumb Mother and awful lot together, in fact, here you see the one without the other. And people often wonder if it's Mary or a mother of both. Then together I'm courting. Mary makes the mother's making Mary Mac marry me. My mother's making me marry Mary Mac. I'm gonna marry Mary for the Mary's taking care of me. Well, I'll be feeling merry when I marry Mary Mac. Hi, you in the ad, little dad, little dumb. Among the heather in the hills of Benefi, well I had a body last Bummy me, a bumblebee stung me right to bummy me Up among the heather in the hills of Benefi Mary Max's mother's making Mary Max marry me Mary Mother's making me marry Mary Max Well I'm gonna marry Mary for the Mary's taking care of me Well I'll be feeling Mary when I marry Mary Max How you feel me out, little out, little love Making us a free. Oh, and the heather in the hills of a fee. Mary Max mother's making Mary Max marry me. My mother's making me marry Mary Max. Well, I'm gonna marry Mary for me, Mary Stein Carney. Well, I'll be feeling Mary when I marry Mary Max. How you and Lily are little down and little down. Wednesday to Wednesday, everything's arranged. Soon we will change your mind unless your mind is changed. You make a new arrangement to feed them with your rage. Marriage is enough, let her take it. Mary Max mother's making Mary Max marry me. My mother's making me marry Mary Max. Well, I'm gonna marry Mary for me, Mary Stein Carney. Well, I'll be feeling Mary when I marry Mary Max. This is a great song. Mary Mac, great big C, lots of fun. Lyrics are awesome. Grab the lyrics. Uh, I'll post them at the beginning of the song. Um, but this is, song is so challenging because of the speed of it. The chords are easy, but the speed of the song and the speed of the strumming, strumming is, is really challenging. So I'll give you a whole bunch of tips. By the way, this is for my class at school, my three classes at school. And uh, these guys are awesome. And we're going to have a lot of fun with this song. I know some of you are going to be frustrated by it. I get that. But you know, it's just a song that's just worth playing because it's so much fun. And if you're not completely successful, not a big deal. All right. It's just a challenging song and it's going to make you a better guitarist if you give it a shot. All right. So right off the bat, the, the first difficult part is the speed of the strumming, right? All right? It's about that fast and maybe even gets faster. Well, not maybe it gets faster towards the end of the song. So you got to pick up the speed from there, all right? So that's the rhythm pattern, or the, or the strumming speed, okay? Notice that I'm not hugely using my elbow joint. You're not gonna get, you're not gonna get super fast strumming by moving your elbow a lot. Super fast strumming is all in the wrist, and it's really just kind of, um, just uh, revolving your wrist. Not revolving, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like um, rotating your wrist. It's not complete rotation of your wrist. I'm not just doing that. I am, I am moving my th this part of my wrist a little bit. I'm also moving my elbow joint a little bit, but it's it's getting all those little pieces together to make one smooth, fast motion. Another thing I would suggest is get your fingers out of the way. All right, if you hold your your pick like this, you're going to be raking your fingers over the strings. So that's not a good idea. Anytime you're strumming fast, you should get your fingers out of the way. Another thing that you're probably going to end up doing is dropping your pick. So be ready. I mean, in a song like this, you have to have a pick. You cannot finish the song. If you drop your pick, you, there's no time to pick it up. I mean, if you're on stage or whatever you're performing, um, 
man, you have to be ready to adjust your pick on the fly because it's going to get knocked out of place in this song. And, you you know, I mean, unless you're really holding it tight, which is hard to do when you're strumming that fast. All right. So there's a lot of things involved in just pick action, the speed of the pick and making sure it doesn't get, you know, knocked out and et cetera, et cetera. Um, so there are three main uh, parts to this song. The intro, and which is also exactly the same as the end of each chorus, goes like this. It's G, A, E minor, all right? And it goes down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down. But I'm not just going down, down, up, down, up, down. I'm keeping my hand going, and I'm strumming when I need to. So it's, it's down, down, up, down, up, down. So there's ghosted chords in there, all right? And you can hear them. I mean, you can try not to do it, but it's fine if you do it. So it's going to sound more like this. All right? You want to try and not ghost them too much because it doesn't happen you know, in the recording so much. But I'm sure it does happen from that time to time. When you're playing that fast, it's hard not to ghost chords. All right? So it's more like... Right? like that it happens four times at the beginning of the song it happens four times at the end of each chorus like each time is one two all right all right so four of those at the beginning of the song and at the end of each chorus and like i say it gets faster each time so i mean you got to be ready to fly um the chorus starts with chop strum chop strum although you can't really chop strum because you're going so fast, so you really need to get your pinky involved. And the chords are E minor, so you can get your pinky in there, and D, get your pinky in there. All right? So it's... Uh, sorry. All right? Chop strum. It's E minor. Chop. Chop strum. Chop strum. Chop strum. Chop. Dog. E minor. And that thing, G, A... E minor, okay? That happens once, like the G, A, E minor happens once in the chorus, and then it goes to this part, which is almost the same. Uh. And then the end of the chorus is G, A, E minor four times, all right? But this part is a little bit tricky because it's a timing thing. It's chop strum on the E minor and then one on the dog and then another one that rings, right? So it's uh Okay, and that's four times again. Uh, those are the three parts you need and they just come one after the other and they just come in sequence. But it, again, the song speeds up as you go. So like B right, I mean, this is a great song to practice because of the speed of it. It just forces you to learn to strum fast, which is a great thing to have in your repertoire. All right, hope you got something out of it. Have a great day.